Hi there, my name is Reza and I'm from Bandung, Indonesia. If you somehow stumbled upon this video, congratulations! Because mm, no, this is not your usual YouTube funny video. This one is serious. You know, it's kind of like fun, but it's also serious. Uh, this video is about economics and philosophy. Okay, let's get started. You're gonna watch my explanation about opportunity cost. By definition, opportunity cost is the foregone alternative when a choice is made. Opportunity cost is the benefit you could have received if you take the other alternative. We're talking not always about the amount of money you might have earned. Uh, opportunity cost could be in any mean of value. For instance, imagine on one Sunday night, your friend asks you to have fun together in his birthday party. He calls you. Hey mate, I'm throwing a party. We got awesome food, pretty chicks, and cool bands. Come have fun. The answer. Mm, but I have a class tomorrow morning. Screw the class, come have fun. Mm, yeah, you're right. Screw the class, I'm coming. Uh, and then you came to his party. You got tired, you got overslept, and you missed your Monday morning class. The knowledge you might have earned on that Monday morning class is your opportunity cost. Let's take another example. As a college student, there are three things you really have to consider. Number one is your sleeping time. Number two is your social life, you know, hanging out, making friends, having fun. Number three, of course, your grade. Uh, sleep enough be sociable or having good grades, right? But from those three things, unfortunately, you can only choose two and you have to sacrifice one. If you want enough sleep and be sociable person, you cannot have a good grade because you don't have enough time to study or even to attend class. If you want good grade and enough sleep, you won't have time to be sociable. If you want to be sociable and have good grades, you're gonna have to sleep less. So you can see, uh, from from that uh, example, the opportunity cost is the value of time. The time you could have done doing something else is your opportunity cost. Another example, let's get more serious. This one is about economics. Um, I'm taking uh, this one case from the book Managerial Economics by Dominic Salvatore. The case is about how frozen food consumption in the United States is growing significantly over the last 50 years. One industry observer thinks the growth is because frozen food nowadays tastes much better than it did before. Is it really? Hmm. One of the most significant social change actually is the increased participation of women in the labor force. In 1950s, only 24% of married women went to office. 50 years later, nowadays, that number had risen up to 61%. Housewives 50 years ago prefer to stay at home, cooking. Housewives, well, nowadays, opt to work, so they have less time to cook at home, right? So actually, the opportunity cost is right there. If women stay at home, they lost the money they could have earned by working. If women work, they lost the home-cooked meal they could have made for their family. Considering the cost and benefits, most women nowadays choose to work. Then they search for food which has little time to prepare. Frozen food it is. Just insert them to your microwave and you know, voila, ready to eat, right? So, um, from those examples, it's interesting, right? This concept of opportunity cost can help us, not only in scope of economics, but also in our daily life where we are faced with so many options and alternatives. Say, when you have to make a career decision, uh, you know, here in Indonesia, uh, going to Jakarta with uh, where all the money is, with all its stressful taste, but greater chance to earn more money, or staying in your hometown, uh, in this case, Bandung, where actually you can be more creative, you can do things you love, but uh, less chance in getting big money or when you have to choose a life partner. The question is, what could I have earned if I choose you? What might I have lost if I don't? Which one is more important? Money, passion, 
inner peace? Well, it's time to think. My name is Reza. Thank you. Good day. God bless.